it is that we are going to pray that God will give us a listening ears to be able to hear him so that we can know what to do and when to do it so that we can know what God wants us to do so that we we'll stop jumping from one place to another or start guessing numbers and stars so that when you are having your right direct code when you have your bank card and you know your password and your pin when you go to the cash machine you put it i told you about some time ago about some years back and god opened my eyes and i saw and he gave me how to bring the card not be sent and he said i said do you know what because so many people don't know their pin and you cannot withdraw from the resources of God if you don't know the pain. You cannot, you cannot withdraw. God is a resource control. He has a power in every condition that is a, in every situation there is a condition. And you cannot take your card and go to ATM and you don't know your PIN number. Yet you might be having money, you might be a millionaire, but you put your card, you're not ready to give you even one pound. Why? Because you don't have the right pin. You are putting the right, right, wrong code. That is the same thing in the kingdom. You need the right code. You need the right pin. And God has called you for something. And you are still guessing the numbers. You don't know the right. Until you have the right pin. Until you remember the right pin. Until you go with the right pin. Before you can be able to receive. Hallelujah. He said, I have chosen him. I don't listen to people, what people say. I don't go by people's word. I don't go by people's recommendation. He said, I have chosen him as mine. The same thing that God said concerning you and me. It doesn't matter how far he has taken you to be where God wants you to be. Because when God called you, he made the provision for you. God never called anybody without the provision. No. God is not a liar. Our God makes provision for him that he called. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's have that in our mind. So that we will pray tonight, God, download my right calling. Download my right calling. What do you want me to do? I am, am I a healer? Am I a teacher? Am I a preacher? Am I an apostle? Am I a prophet? What is it? God speaks. He confirms his word. God confirms his word so many, through so many ways and areas. God confirms his word. Anything you come before him and you table before him, he is ready and willing to give you the answer. The God opened my eyes. The prophet said, God opened his eyes to see that he who is with us is more than those that is thinking that they are coming. Because he said, the, the servant said, look at these people. They are coming. They are too much. They have gathered too much. He said, God opened his eyes. Open his eyes to see that he that is with us is more than. If your eyes is not open to see what you got, if your ears is not open to hear what God is saying, if your eyes is not open to see what God is Positioning before you. You might be afraid. You might be fearful. You might be just about to give up. You might think anyway things is not working. Why? Because you cannot see far. God wants us to look far. He wants us to listen. And when you listen, you look far. And you can be able to tap the resources from the God's unlimited resources. God is a multiplication man. He has things a lot for us. If we are ready, he is ready. Hallelujah. Amen. So tonight we are going to pray that God will want to hear from you. I might have been doing things that is not what you call me to do. I might be doing things that I don't think you call me. But I want to know my right calling. I want to know the right things I should do. I want to know the right things that you call me for. I don't want to be just, I want to be whom you want me to be. I want to be something. I want to do something you want me to do for you. It's just like we parents, we have 
if you send, if you call your daughter, your son, you want him to go and do something. You know what you send him to do. You know what you are giving him to go and do. And he start doing something differently. If, if the, the result would be different from what you expected. But if you send him and he get you the right thing you want, that's what you send him for. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's, uh, let's tonight we are going to pray that God open our eyes to see and open our ears to hear you and do the right thing you want us to do. Because the time is almost gone. We are going to pray about uh, five, ten minutes pray so that uh, God will do something. And I know that by the end of this tonight prayer, God is moving somebody from nowhere to somewhere in Jesus' name. From nobody to somebody in the mighty name of Jesus. As he said, no, that Paul you are looking at, that man you think is not a evil man, that man you think that he cannot move, I have chosen him. I know what he can do. I know him. I have chosen him to do my work. I have chosen him to be my, to carry my name to the Gentiles. I have given him the authority to, of, of, to use, move on my name. God gives power and authority. When God calls you, he gives you authority. He said to someone, anywhere where I have authorized, where I have agreed, where I have permitted for my name to be mentioned, take the offering, don't keep the offering there, take the tithe there, take the gift there, anywhere I have permitted for my name, God has a name where he wants his name to be. He has people he has given position. He has people he has put a word in their mouth. He has people he has given different powers to do what he wants them to do. As long as we, by his grace, are doing what God wants us to do, there is nothing can stop us from achieving our purpose for God. Hallelujah. Amen. So let us be very, very attentive to God. Let us be very, very attentive and say, God, open our eyes to see. Open our eyes Amen. to see what is what you are calling in our life. Amen. So that we will be able to fulfill your will concerning our life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So tonight we are going to pray. We are going to pray for 10 minutes. That prayer is God open my eyes and my ears to hear you and my eyes to see in the spirit and open my ears to hear you. Because the most important thing is to hear God. It's the most important thing is to hear him. Because when you are walking without hearing God, it's just like a blind man walking across the road. You don't know if a car is coming to knock you. If you don't know if you are going to hit somebody. You don't know if something is... Danger is up. That is how it is when you are walking without hearing God. But the moment you start hearing what God is saying, you always walk ahead of you before your enemy. You always ahead of your enemy. You always ahead of the trouble. You always ahead of any circumstances that will delay your movement. Because you listen to God. Because He is ordering yourself. And you are walking according to His word and what you have heard from Him. Many of us, we don't hear from God, and as if God is not speaking, but the Holy Spirit is ministering to us day and night. He's ministering to us without stopping. Jesus said, I am at the door. You might have thinking that you are pushing me away. I cannot go away because why? He knows he created all of us. God created each and every one of us. He has given us an assignment. He has given us a call that this is what I want you to do. He says, I am at the door. Just open and invite me. I will come in now. Because you don't, don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up because God will never give up on us. Hallelujah. Amen. God can never give up on us. He has given us all of us a work to do. God gives you a work to do. He gives me work to do. But it's what has he given me to do? What he has asked me to do? What has he deposited in me as his own work to do for him? Or what has he deposited in you? The moment we catch it, the better and the faster we run, we move, we fly. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. So let us pray. Let us uh, open our mouth. We are going to pray tonight. The Bible says they are fasted, and the Holy Spirit come and say, I have separate now, separate now. Separate Barnabas and separate them from me because I am sending them on earth. I am sending them.
for a mission. I'm sending them out because there's a lot of people out there who need to hear what God is doing. People that think that with God there is no God. So many people are thinking God is no longer working. But I'm here to tell you God is working. 247. The Bible says as bad things surround Israel, so God surrounds his people. He is always on top of our case. He is always working for us. God is always willing, ready to fulfill his word concerning our life, fulfill his promises concerning our life. God is a promise keeper. He is a God that never fail, never change, never lie. He's not a partial God. He's a good God. But are we ready? Are we willing and obedient? Because we might be willing but not being obedient to his word. You, the two goes together. The two goes hand in hand. You must be willing and you must be ready. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So let us uh, pray that God open our eyes so that we see and open our ears to hear him correctly so that we will know what call he has given to us. We know that what the assignment God has given unto us and let him also give us the ability, the power. So many of us know the calling of God in our life. So many of us know what God wants us to do. But people's intimidation, people's thoughts. He says so many people have talked about this man and the people are talking against you and you now become afraid because people are talking. You are become afraid because people have not approved you. But you don't need people's approval. You only need God's approval. You don't need people's approval. You only need God's approval. Tell God, I want you. I want you to manifest in my life. I want you to open up my eyes to see what you are calling upon my life. I want you to open up my eyes. Let me see your calling my life. Open up my ears to hear you. Because I want to hear you. I want to know the calling my life. I want to say it. I want to do it. Because you are willing, I'm ready. I am willing and I am ready to do it without any fear or fear of any man. Because I'm no longer ready to fear any man. I am no longer to be afraid of your word. I'm no longer afraid to, of your, afraid of people because of Jesus. Because so many people are afraid because when they mention Jesus, people try to crucify them. People to start to talk about them. People start to uh, talk evil about them. They, they become afraid. But they forget that he that is in us in more than millions are against you. He said, God opened my servant's eye to see who is with us here. Open up your mouth and say, Lord, open up my eyes. Open my eyes to see. If the eyes of the servant wasn't open, as the prophet said, uh, he wouldn't have known that what God, God is more than what he, he was saying. Uh. But when his eyes was open, uh, he said, oh my God, uh, I don't know that him that is in me is more than a thousand out there. I don't know that who is with me is better than those uh, that are against me. He don't know that when God is with you, no one can be against you. Because he don't know the power, he don't know the authority of God. He don't don't know that our God is Alpha and Omega. He don't know that he is the beginning and the end. He don't know that he is the one who created the heaven and earth. He is the one who the scientists cannot understand. He is the one that the, the, the mathematicians cannot work about. He is the one that nobody, nobody living or dead can explain where he lives and how he lives. Because that what makes him God. He is so powerful. He is awesome. Our God is a God that's a God of science wonder sir he is God uh, that when he's with you no one can be against you and when he open doors no one can close it uh, because he is God uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, Ropoto ya kayande, Marianduri ya kapayanduri ya zikata mayande. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the power and authority of God, God open the eyes of your children. Open the eyes of your children, Lord. Open the eyes of your children. Tonight, O oh Lord, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Open the eyes of your children, O oh Lord. Open the eyes. Open our eyes, O oh Lord. Open the eyes of your children to see. Open the ears of your children, O oh Lord, to hear in the name of Jesus. Uh, open the ears of your children, O oh Lord. Uh, open the ears, O oh Lord, uh, of your children to say, O, oh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, and open the ears of your children uh, to hear you, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, by the blood and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, o oh, Heavenly Father, I pray your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, open the eyes, open the eyes of your children uh, 
in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, by the blood and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, oh Lord, I pray in your name, in the name of Jesus. Makandoriazi uh, katamayande, rakapayandoriazi karamayande, in the mighty name of Jesus, by the blood and by the power of the Holy Spirit, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, oh Heavenly Father, I pray, O oh Lord, I pray your name, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Abba, Father. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you, that I am that I am. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We honor you, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name in the mighty name of Jesus. Open the eyes, O Lord. Open the eyes of your children in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We are still praying Amen. that God will open the eyes of our leaders. When our leaders' our eyes are closed, they cannot hear from the Lord, they cannot see, they cannot hear. But I'm here to tell you that when we pray for them, God will open their eyes to see and open their ears to hear. Mm -hmm. They might not be what we want them to be because of what people say about them. But God knows more than we do know. God moves in his own ways. The Bible said the way of the Lord is different from our ways, our thought is different from his thoughts. Hallelujah. That God, the way we think, the way we thought, the way we believe is differently from where God wants us. Because God said, I have known him, I have chosen him to carry my name. I don't go by people's recommendation, I don't go by people's opinion. Opinion of God is what matters in your life. What God is saying concerning you is what matters. What God wants you to be is what matters. Other people might want you to be a doctor. Other people want you to be a lawyer. Other people's mind is to, for you just to be what they want you to be. But I'm here to tell you that it's only when you are what God wants you to be that you can live and enjoy the life God has given unto you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We are going to pray again. We are still praying because Jesus said without him we are nothing. Without him we can do nothing. Without him we can do nothing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nothing we can do without Jesus. He is the good shepherd. He is our father. He is our God. He is our all and all. I want us to pray that God let us be what he wants us to be. Because God wants us to be something different what others want us to be. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Sister, Pastor Helen, give us one song, please. Give us one song. Raise one song. My spirit said, just give us a song, please. Raise up a song, please. Give us one song. Okay. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. You are the of our lives. Mm. You are the pillar that holds our lives, Master Jesus. You are the pillar that holds our
you are the pillar the food Master Jesus, you are the pillar of the food. Allah. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Is it possible to give us? Yes, amen. Pastor Helen, give us another song, please. I don't know if it's because of this, uh, the, the network is a bit uh, slow, but give us another question. That's the key. Mm. Satan come and say, God, is because you placed Job. Allow me to do something. But it's not where I'm going. I want us to look at the Zachariah. Zachariah 3. If we look at Zachariah 3 from verse 1 to 5. Zachariah 3, 1 to 5. Zachariah 1, 1 to 5. Praise God. Hallelujah. He said, Now he showed me Joshua, the, the high priest, standing before the angel of the Lord, and Satan standing at his right hand to oppose him. Why was the Satan standing at his right hand to oppose him? Joshua, the high priest, and Satan standing to argue with him to say, I have heard what so many people say. 
there is a lot of people who are talking things, who are saying things. That is why he will be in that position. That is why he will not minister for God. That is why he will not be stand before God. That is why he will not prosper in life. That is why he will not live good in life. That is why he will live in barrenness land. That is why he will live in a land of bitterness. That is why he will not do that. God will not bless him. God will not favor him. God will not promote him because he is not uh, uh, what God wants him. He said, an angel set, set and standing at his right hand to oppose him, to refuse him to be blessed, to refuse him to be healed, to refuse him to stand before God, to refuse him to minister to God, to refuse him to do what God wants him to do. A priest. Says, set and standing at his right hand to oppose him. To refuse him to move forward. To refuse him to be obedient. To accuse him. To mislead him. And, and verse 2 said, And the Lord said to Satan, The Lord rebuke you, Satan. The Lord who has chosen Jerusalem rebuke you. Is this not a brand plug from the fire? Plug from the fire. Somebody that has this on fire, somebody has given his life, somebody has been forgiven, somebody has been brought up to make it in life, somebody is on fire to do things for God, somebody that God has brought us from nowhere to somewhere, somebody I have brought from some, nothing to something, somebody that I have brought from knowing going somewhere to go to going nowhere to somewhere, and you want to oppose him, you want to stand against him, somebody that I have already healed, you want to force him so that you tell him he's not being healed. Somebody that has been promoted and you want to bring a bias uh, uh, resistance to resist his promotion. And now Jeshua was clothed with a filthy garment. Filthy garment. He said, now Jeshua, that's verse 3. Jeshua was clothed with filthy garment and was standing before the angel. Hmm. A priest, a high priest, been discorrected, demoted, destroyed, infested with so many things by the enemy, so that he would not fulfill his destiny, so that he would not do the work God has called him to do, so that he would not be able to do it. Clotted with filthy garments, filthy garments. And, and was standing before the angel. Then he answered and spoke to those who stood before him, saying, Take away the filthy garment from him. Take it away. Take that nowhere from, uh, away. Take that nobody away from him. Take that sickness away. Take that poverty away from him. Take that demotion away from him. Take away that disgrace. Take it away. Filthy garment might be disgraced. Filthy garment might be shame. It might be failure. But God said, take it away. Somebody is going to take away filthy garment from somebody tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. That thing that the enemy has clothed you with, clothed your mind with, clothed your body with, clothed your spirit with, clothed your body with, God is going to take it away. He said, take it away. Take the filthy garment from him. And to him he said, See, I have removed your iniquity from you. I have removed everything that's sin against about you away. I have removed everything that is working against you away. I have removed that cause away from you. I have removed that generational cause away from you. I have removed that thing that has refused you to be somebody away. I have removed that sickness away from you. I have removed that thing that people have tagged you with. People have called you so many names. People have tagged you so many things. They have attacked you as a failure. They have tagged you as a disgrace. They have tagged you as nobody. God said, take it away. I am taking all those things away. People have counted about your past, past, past life. And they have tried to judge you with all those things. God said, take it away. I am taking all those iniquities away from you. I am taking those things that has refused you to move somewhere away. I have removed it away from you. I am taking them away. And he said, I, and I will clothe you with rich robes. 
Hallelujah. But I will clothe you with rich robes. I will clothe you with rich robes. I will clothe you with favor. I will clothe you with long life. I will clothe you with glorious garment. I will clothe you with divine favor. I will clothe you. I will clothe you with promotion. I will bring you before men and women of great of intelligence. I will bring you before people of high caliber. I will bring you before people who will help you to another level. I will bring you because he said the gift of a man make it away from him. I will bring you, that your gift will start working for you, that I will bring you, what I have given you to do will start manifesting us because God sent you and he sent you with the resources. He said, I'm clothing you with, a, with rich robes. Hallelujah. And I said, let them put a clean top around his head. Crown. So they put a clean turban on his head and they put it close on him and the angel of the Lord stood by. Hallelujah. Tonight somebody is going to move from nobody to somebody. Somebody listening my voice is going to be moved from nowhere to somewhere tonight. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, from disgrace to grace. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, from poverty to prosperity. In the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, from sickness to divine health. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, somebody is going to be moved. Uh, somebody is going to be moved. Uh, from demotion to promotion. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, somebody is going to be promoted. Going to be clothed. With the glorious garment, with the favor, with the good health, with the good life, with the happiness and joy. Somebody is going to move from nowhere to somewhere tonight. Those who have mocked you, they are about to celebrate you. Those who have called you names, they are about to bow before you. Because they are, they are next tomorrow. They are tomorrow is in your hand. They are next spirit is in your hand. They are about to come back and say, I am sorry. I don't know why I'm saying all those things. But for now, I have repented. Please forgive me. Because they are back to, to ask for your apology. They are back. They are back. They will come back with an apology. They will come back to apologize and say, We are sorry. Because they have called you names. They have put so many tags, tagged you so many things. Uh. They have tagged you as useless. Uh. They have tagged you as nobody. But they are coming back uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, take this Paul. He said, listen, listen what Jesus said. Jesus said, Simon, Simon, indeed Satan has asked for you. Satan has asked for you. Satan has come for you. He has come. Disgrace has come. Disgrace has come. Fellow has come to ask of you. Things that is not of God has come to you. Something to resist you have come. To ask of you. They have come to be given permission. They have come to seek your downfall. They have come to useless that they have come to ask. But he said, No. Satan has come to ask that you may shift you as a wheat. But I have, but I have prayed for you that your faith should not fail. And when you have returned to me, straighten your brethren. Satan has come to ask of your downfall. But God said, Jesus said, I have prayed for you. That from today, you will save, you start functioning in your calling. From today, you start working what God wants you to work. What, doing what God wants you to do. From today, you will be coming from nowhere to somewhere. From nobody to somebody. From back, 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 back bench to the front bench. You are moving forward in the mighty name of Jesus. From tonight, God is doing, changing somebody's destiny because your destiny has been messed up by the enemy. You have been clothed with filthy garment. Uh, the enemy has useless in your life. Uh, they have tried to do all kind of things uh, to work against you. All your blessings have been resisted. Uh, they have been hijacked. Uh, but tonight, God is raising your blessing to you. Everything that is pertaining your good life, uh, everything that pertains your happiness, uh, is going to be given unto you because as a child of God, uh, you are meant to live and live well uh, in the mighty name of Jesus.
Hallelujah. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Any garment. Lord. Any filthy garment. Any filthy garment. Over my life. Take it away. In the name of Jesus. And clothe me. And clothe me. Clothe me with rich robes. In the name of Jesus. Clothe me with favor. Clothe me with good, good health. Clothe me with prosperity. Clothe me with progress. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I break every limitation over my life. I destroy every stagnation operating in my life in the name of Jesus. From tonight, from tonight, I will fly, I, I will fly and soar like the eagles. Like the eagles in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you. I bless you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. We are going to stop here tonight. We will continue next week, Friday, Tuesday and Friday, which is prayer night and the deliverance night. Tuesday, prayer night, intercessor night, and Friday, deliverance night, powerful, destiny-changing night. Then, Sunday, celebration. So let's celebrate God by God's grace on Sunday. Let's come back together again and stand and worship our God and glorify his holy name. May God bless each and every one of us that were able to key in tonight. May God visit our household and may we be able to hear from him, to hear, be able to hear from God so that from tonight we will not live a life of guessing in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 So, Pastor Kingsley, pray, uh, close the service, if you don't mind, please. Amen. Let's share the grace. The love of God and the sweet fellowship from the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless you all. God bless you. 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 Amen. Bye. Bye.
God bless you all. God bless you all. God bless you all. God bless you all. In the name of Jesus, thank you for watching. God bless you all. I hope to see you again. And I believe that this word of God will grow and reach your life as never before. In the mighty name of Jesus, whatever you are doing, be rest assured that the Lord Jesus is on your side. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Shalom. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you.